Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Web Dev. In this video, we will try to implement the same Redux library in the functional component. So in the previous video, we have implemented the store concept Redux library in a class components. So that means how we can implement this one in the functional components. Let's try to see. So here I am taking the same example, the same old example here I am taking. And in this counter, what I will try to do is I will try to create a new components so that is nothing but i will keep it as counter functions.js so this is a functional component the same logic i will implement this one using the functional component so here i will be having export function counter function okay counter function the name also i will make as counter function instead of counter functions okay counter function and this one will take the props as a parameter and here i need to return you here I need to write do and I will write here counter okay so this is how we will be writing the counter now what I will try to do is here let's go to the app.js and here what I will do is I will try to add some br and here I will apply the same counter function so this is the component I am implementing let's try to see the output here so here I am able to see the counter so this is a functional component the same logic I will try to implement using the functional component so here I will write counter function component. Okay, so this is one div. Actually, this could this will be one div, and in this div I will try to paste here. Okay, so now I have pasted it here. Now what I will write is so here I will add div so zero. It will be the counter value, and here I will add one div. So these are the two buttons. I will add two buttons, which is first one will be the increment, and another one will be the decrement. So this is the output so now if i try to see here the same thing we are getting so but this one is the functional component and this is the class component so now what i need to do i need to access the store so first before accessing the store i need to initialize this variable so here constant counter comma set counter is equal to use state of zero so initially i am keeping it as zero so this now I need to call the store. So when I need to call the store in the when the component is mounted and also the component updated. So I can use the component mounted using the use effect. So in this use effect, what I can do is so here I will be writing the use effect. So in this use effect, what I will try to do is constant state is equal to store dot get state. So this is the store, and I need to import the store here. Okay, so now in this store dot get state, what I can do here set counter. So we need to call the set counter of state dot counter. So we can implement it like this. So now what I need to do instead of zero here, I can write here counter value. So which is the state value. So now if I try to see the output here, I'm able to see both one and one is displaying down here. That means the data is coming from the we can expect the data is coming from the store. Now what I need to do here the two buttons are there so I need to click I need to write an event for these two buttons so here I can write something like on increment on increment and another one will be the on click will be is equal to sorry here on decrement so these are the two buttons so now on these two buttons what I will try to do is so here I will be writing function on increment so this is one button so sorry this is one function and another function will be function on decrement so this is another function so on increment and on decrement so in this functions what we need to do so we need to call store dot dispatch of so we have the already action creator with us so i can call increment okay so this increment we need to import it from the actions so now in the same scenario on decrement what i need to do so here store sorry store dot dispatch of decrement so i am calling this decrement also so now we have created on click events also on increment and on decrement functions also we are calling let's try to see the output if i try to refresh this page so fine if i click on this one so here if you try to see top the data is getting updated but in the bottom the data is not updating so that means what is the problem so as you already know that 
use effect we have written the use effect but we haven't subscribed so what we can do here so let's pull out this code and here i can write something like uh, update state so i will create one method update state and here i can write something like update state so in this update state i will copy the code and i'll paste it here so here what i can write store dot subscribe so here i can call update state update state so we need to call the reference so don't need to don't don't call this one like this so now what we will try to do is we'll try to check the output so here use effect it should be called only on the mounted so then what i need to do here i need to keep empty bracket empty square bracket so that it will be called only on the component mounted only so every time when the data is updating it will be calling so there is no need to call only on the component mounted only we need to call so that's it now here what we can we do here if i try to refresh this one so if i try to execute here see both the places it is getting updated this is how <coughs> <coughs> sorry so this is how we will be doing the same store concept redux store, store concept in the functional component so now we have seen the both way of implementation of the redux library both in the class component and also in the functional component okay so hope you understood about this one so in the next video what we will try to do is we will try to use this react redux library react redux library okay so in the react.js application so that how we this could solve our problems in this one okay so let's try to see it in the next video have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel and also you need to remember that the code entire thing is hosted in the github so if you want to get uh, if you want to know about this code and all those things so here you can go so all my uh, what i can say all my projects whatever the projects i am doing here so it will be available in my github uh, github uh, repository so here if you try to see here you will be having the github react and uh, everything you will be able to have here so in this one if you try to see e for each video i will be creating a branch separate branch for this one so if you want to update a code means you can go to the master or otherwise if you want to go to the particular video means so you can go to that particular branch and you can get the data so here i have implemented all the react app basic react app we are able to see javascript redux this is a vanilla script implementation of the redux application and now react redux also it is it has it is also been committed in this code so if you have if you have any doubts or any implementation when you are practicing so you can you are free to come here and you can take the repository okay hope you understood about this one so if you have any doubts or any suggestions as usual so please uh, post the comments i will try to give the reply if i know and if you have any if you like my channel please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you